Okay. Yeah, here. Here and um, please uh, tell me your name and occupation. Okay. Uh, I'm Ed Velasquez, and I teach at uh, the Graduate Library School at the uh, Graduate School of Library and Information Science at Dominican University. But I also work uh, at the Chicago Botanic Garden as curator for books. Do you use the Biodiversity Heritage Library as part of your work or right. research? Right. I use the library as both in classes with my students, uh, various classes about the history of the book, and um, this history of scholarship, uh, talking about taxonomic literature. Uh, but I also use it researchers who come to the Chicago Botanic Garden and they look at some of the old literature we have and they want to see some things we don't have. And so we use that to locate literature that makes connections with the other older literature that we have in the, co in the collection. And why did you decide to attend this conference? Um, I think it's a unique combination of scientists and librarians, and I'm very enthusiastic about that sort of combination. We should have these sorts of meetings more often. What would you like to see improved, um, added, or changed about the Biodiversity Heritage Library in the future? That's a good question. Um, I'm an advocate for open access, and I'd like to see more and more resources that are not available because of copyright issues, some of those copyright issues being resolved in this whole literature that is protected by copyright, some of those problems resolved in a systematic way so we don't have these gaps between the very old literature that's in the public domain and some of the new newer literature that's open access, but then there's this sort of sort of modern gap of copyrighted protected literature that we don't have access to. I'd like to see that somehow resolved. And maybe we just need to Start having these conferences with lawyers too. Thank you. Thank you.